Hi everyone, and this is like a little uh, filler video, and um, mainly because uh, the original video course did not include this one, but I've got a question, a few people asking questions, and today I had Cindy Chapel ask, because uh, um, she's styled the white ones here, okay, in the nav. We did that with a compound selector earlier on, and we did pseudo classes uh, um, at different times, so we could do the hovers down here, but in this case, it's not working quite perfectly for her um, to go install these ones at the top here. So there's a little bit of trickery we need to do, um, because at the moment, you can see the hover is this dark gray, which is not gonna work for us. So what we need to do is a compound selector and a pseudo selector, and the easiest way to think, make this thing work is I'm gonna click on home, Okay, and I'm gonna make sure I'm on main CSS. I'm making sure I'm on all, main CSS, global, and I'm gonna make a new selector. It's gonna make a compound selector, okay, so which is a few different ones together. So there's a class named nav, there's a, another class named navbar um, hyphen nav, there's another one named navbar right, and then there's a list and a link within that list. If all those things are true, um, apply the style that I'm gonna do down here. But what we want to do is that's gonna style the A, which is gonna style just this white thing again, which we um, don't wanna do. What we wanna do is add a pseudo class in here called hover. So all of these things are true and change the hover. So I'm gonna go down to the text. I'm gonna to go to color and what color? I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool here. So I've used the eyedropper tool to kick this um, kind of peach color. And hopefully now when I hover above, um, it should change it to the hover to that peach color. And the cool thing about this is because that's quite specific, okay? It's not gonna change, like say, some of these hovers down here, okay? Because these, the rules, or at least the navbar class is not applied to these as well. So it's a nice way of kind of like uh, tying together our pseudo classes and our compound selectors. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you're watching this uh, video on YouTube, um, check out my website for the full course. So I've got about 60 videos, um, how to use Dreamweaver and Bootstrap um, on my website, bringyourownlaptop.com. All right, I'll catch you later.